next into the tank is a solution to a growing problem in the apparel industry. Hi Sharks, I'm Alan. And I'm Amelia. We're from California and we're seeking $300,000 for 15% equity in our company, Retold Recycling. Sharks, it goes without saying, everyone needs to wear clothes. Well, unless you want to get arrested, Alan. <laughs> but seriously, there's another cost to not going naked. <laughs> That's right. America throws away around 12 million tons of textiles every single year. That's why we created Retold Recycling. It's our convenient and sustainable mail-in service for recycling your unwanted clothing and household textiles. It's really simple. We send you an empty Retold bag and comes with a prepaid label. You throw in around five pounds of your unwanted items and then drop it in the post. We'll do the rest. Your items are carefully sorted before going to thrift stores, upcyclers, and also textile recyclers. They'll break down your unwanted items into a pulp. So you can feel really good knowing that nothing goes to landfill. Don't throw it away. Retold them. them. So how do you find people that are going to fill these bags up with their unwanted clothing? Actually, there's so many people looking for this service. We've been running Google AdWords and the demand for people typing in clothing recycling near me has very much been fueling our business. Do you pay me for the clothes I send you? No, you actually pay for the service of recycling. All right, so walk me, walk me through the economics. A single bag is $14.50. So I buy a bag, let's say one, for $14.50. I put in my five pounds. Yep. I send it to you, and then do you sell it? So our recycling partner actually has a thrift store network that he can clear items to. So you got $14 from me. How much do you get from your partner that recycles it? It's about um, 10 cents per pound. Look, I give away a lot of clothes. I'll either drop to Goodwill or there's certain charities that I'll drop them off at. Mm -hmm. But my cost is only some time. Why would I use this instead? Generally, they won't take your old underwear or items that they can't resell. Huh. Okay, but $14 for somebody, it seems a lot to me. Can you speak to the cost of that? Yeah, honestly, we don't really have a whole lot of price resistance because it's the convenience of bringing it into your home. You're not driving anything around. And for me, I'm a busy professional. I'm a solo mama. I don't have time to do all of that. Okay, tell us about sales. When we launched uh, in July of 2020, the sales was around 12,000. In 2021, our sales uh, jumped up to around $175,000. Okay. And what did you make on that? The gross profit last year uh, was 43%. And what are you going to do through the end of the year? Around $500,000. What's your plan for growth? How are you even going to scale this? We actually have a lot of brands and different companies that are coming to us and saying, we need a sustainable solution. Can we basically plug and play your program? You know, look, we do this at Good American and Skims because what we do with end of season goods or damaged goods is we send them off, we have them recycled, they're used for roofing installations. So what's the end game? What we're actually providing for these brands, they're coming to us for a consumer facing program. So we've white labeled the bags themselves and they sell um, the bags on their website. Um, so they can appear to, their to be customers. sustainable and to And how their big customers. is that business for you right now? So we've just launched one brand. We have another brand that's signed and that will launch but in the next couple of months. But this makes a lot more sense to me because all brands are looking for something that they can offer their consumers Correct. to so appear big, to be more I mean, sustainable. Trying to figure out how do point, I get how do I get back three hundred thousand dollars? Let's go through the economics again. So you're charging fourteen ninety five. Fourteen fifty, yeah. Uh, fourteen fifty. What are your costs associated with that? Typically, so shipping costs for us at the moment uh, runs about eighty percent of our revenues. So about so twelve dollars. Correct. Which is why it's very important for us to scale it so that we can actually negotiate not just better rates but add shipping locations as well because we send all of our uh, bags, we ship it to a single location uh, in the Midwest. Over 20% of our customers are based in California, which means that to ship over to yep. the Midwest. The more distance, the more expensive, right? So why couldn't you work out a deal with somebody who buys clothes in California. We, we can, and we would love to add that into the network. Then we have the volume to negotiate multiple So you, you guys can also come up with multiple SKUs. So you have a bag that is sold in California, a bag Correct. that's sold in New York, so it ships to the closest yeah. recycler. Correct. Okay, so here's where I see a business out of this. Mm -hmm. So uh, if- Please if, tell them, Mark. 
If you put these at 7-Eleven or at, at dry cleaners, if you can do it so there's enough margin for the retailer there, your cost of a bag is how much? 15 cents. So you can put tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of these around the country. The problem is you don't have any margin to pay the host for those. Correct. So that's why I'm asking if it's and 17. why is the host gonna sell it, Mark? How's anybody gonna Because it's that a is? convenience to them, right? So it's nice to be able wow. to say the mail room at your office building. It's at, you're right, it, and it's additive to a brand, it's additive yes. to a building a and a community. Well, listen, you know, while it's Mark difficult... redefines your business, let me take a shot at it, okay? I, I'm just looking at what you're presenting, I'm mm -hmm. looking at the opportunities as an investor, yep. and I'm looking at the $300,000 I'll have been recycled before I ever get that back. <laughs> Like that that is just too much. I'm not gonna write a check for three hundred thousand for yeah. this. Yeah. Let me out. do you mind if I respond Guys, to your question? I'm from can I just I just feel like it's important to clear the decks a little bit here. Yeah. I really respect the mission, but I think that we're in a time right now with fourteen fifty. Like consumers are having to pay so much for like gas and just the cost of living to do this. I feel like you're gonna have so much resistance in the market. For me, this is just not an investable opportunity, so I'm out. Okay, thank you, I appreciate that. I feel like this mission, obviously, is so important, but I'm not sure how you're going to make money out of this. I don't I don't know how to figure it out. And I'm not the right shark for this deal. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm out. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you, Laurie. Really before I, think, I rewrite your entire business plan, <laughs> what I'm really struggling with is there is no business here in the way that you're doing it today. And as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking, Alan and Amelia are super smart. There's got to be something I'm missing. Yes. Tell me the other revenue stream. Yeah. Because I want to be in. So honestly, there is a huge opportunity working with the brands because we have volume coming to us of brands who are looking to be able to add that consumer-facing mm -hmm. program so they can have that sustainability flag. So it's a marketing play. Correct. It's a, basically a licensing deal where we will do that program for them. The bags are white label with their own branding and we'll provide that service. Emma, would you do this for your brands? A hundred percent. I almost feel like this should be like, it's a non-profit that brands fund. Like, I, I just don't get the business case here. Well, right. she, Honestly, Emma, if she I, if answered I mean, it for me. I think it's a great mission. I, I didn't see the business part of it. So I, I wish you all the best. It's a good cause, but I'm not. Thank you. All Thank is you. not thrown out yet because so, Mark quick, is guys, still in. Um, right now it's a small business, right? Yeah. And there's not an element that you've shown us that are just all automatic scale except for your branding program. Right. Where you charge an office building or a company and you say, okay, you buy 2,000 bags for this amount of money and you guys are responsible for the postage and you send it to us. And the 2,000 bags, you mainly charge two bucks a piece, mm -hmm. right? Which is just all profit for you. So if you're open to those types of things, I think I can help you get there. Great. I mean, honestly, that's really what we're looking for is one of your platforms to help us grow the awareness, but also that like back-end innovation. I'll offer you $300,000. I want 25%. And that's non-negotiable. Boy, and wow. you've got, you've got a really so a yes no on yeah, yeah. I'm the one game in town, so it's a yes or no. I would run to that I, offer. Uh, run, don't move, guys. Jump run run off down fast. Come here, one, one quick minute. Wow, I can't believe they're thinking. Are you crazy? Is there any chance you would do it for 22%? <laughs> no. No. Three percent. Take the deal. It's not going to change. You know, no. You've got a deal. Yay! Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. You're welcome. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. See you. What's really exciting is, and, and I think this is what Shark Tank is about, is a whole new business model which we did not even think about, which we really believe it's going to uh, grow and scale our business. So 100%. we're excited. You know, that's what I love about Shark Tank. You come in with one business, you leave with a different business. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I hope no, it's the same business. She said it. I could just help them tweak it. Completely no, different. No, you just didn't understand their business. She said brands. In your office, when you go to work in the morning, there's a sign that says 1750, take this bag your recyclable clothing, just put it in the bag and mail it. It's all paid for, $17.50, done. People are gonna feel good and do it. You will do it because you'll start feeling guilty that you're not recycling everything. The risk is people or want stuff Or I can for drive free. it for free to the Salvation so Army. Your time isn't worth much. For some people, it's worth a lot more. <laughs>